What we're trying to do is understand um, what these genes are that increase your risk for developing migraine, as well as figuring out what they do and where they're expressed within the nervous system. And so we're using some really exciting new technology to try to describe where every gene in your genome is expressed within your brain and in the sensory neurons that make you feel the pain of a headache. And, um, and using this new technology, we can very rapidly take any gene that is linked to migraine and know exactly where it's expressed and functioning in your um, nervous system. And we're hoping that this will one day allow us to um, design experiments to figure out exactly how um, these, these genetic mutations are increasing your risk for developing the disease. So I think the next major step um, of our research is to describe at a single cell level where every gene is expressed in the human body. And right now there's an international consortium of people all working towards the same goal. And, um, and as we get a, a more and more in-depth coverage of every cell in the human body, we'll very quickly be able to um, say, hey, this gene is associated with migraine. We now look to see where in the human body this is expressed, focusing primarily on the nervous system. And, uh, and this will then give us clues of how to study this and its role in, in actually causing the disease of migraine. We are hoping to use this information to stratify patients into you know, different subtypes, basically patients who have neuronal phenotypes of migraine or who have vascular phenotypes of migraine, and, tr and be able to use that information just based on, a, on, on their DNA to, to treat them differently.